Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? Thanks to so many of you for coming back this week. We've managed to get a live cast running uh, and it all seems to be working well. So uh, give us a wave on the chat if you can hear me. We'll uh, just wait for a few more to join us and then we'll explain how to play the game. I'm James, uh, one of the founders of Big Drop. Uh, welcome to my cabin at the bottom of my garden in uh, in Ipswich. Um, I hope you're all doing okay in slightly crazy times. It's uh, week three, I think, of the lockdown in the UK. Slightly different in a few other places, but I hope you're all staying uh, as safe and as well as you can in these crazy times. Lots of Robin, lots of uh, waving there, Matt Robbins. I see you. Okay, good stuff. Let me show my face as well. How are we all? Okay, so last week we had to do a pre-record because the internet wasn't behaving. So this week we're going to do video and questions and we've got a picture around and we've got you all to vote for uh, what to play or uh, what rounds to have. So thanks for all voting. We'll put that up next week. If you don't like us on Facebook yet, give us a like. Uh, follow us on Instagram as well. We do different themes for, for each social channel. And that just means that you can uh, vote uh, for what rounds you want. So uh, let's, uh, let's start off by um, explaining how to play. So there's no, d please don't post the answers in the, uh, in the actual chat because we want to keep this quite kind of open. Write your answers down at home. If you're playing as a team, you can form teams on Zoom or House Party or uh, WhatsApp. Confer amongst yourselves. Nominate a team leader to write the answers down. Now I'll go through the answers at the uh, end of each round and then uh, you can mark your points and just let us know in the chat how you're all doing. Okay. Uh, if you can't hear me, my levels are quite high. If you just want to turn your volume up a little bit, um, I'll turn the background music down a little bit as well. Uh, so what we're going to do first is, if you've watched every week, my daughter's helped out with something. Uh, there's no kind of um, round that we've picked this week that she'd like to read a question out for, but she is going to say... Welcome to week three. Thank you very much, Eva. Okay, can everyone see me? Doesn't really matter, you just need to hear my voice and see the questions. My, my beautiful face is not a, uh, a big prerequisite of this quiz. Okay, excellent, we've got a good number in here now. Just to reiterate the, the, how to play the quiz, pen and paper, write it down at home, uh, and then we'll uh, mark your answers, mark themselves. If you want to form a team, get it going on WhatsApp. Uh, get it going on house party, get it going on Zoom, something like that. You can confer amongst yourselves at home. Seems to work really well. Just choose one person to write the answers down and then mark them. Just let us know how each team's getting on in the chat at the end of each round. Okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, bless Eva, Kelly says. So, all good. Okay, so, let's get things underway, shall we? Um, first thing I just want to say, because the first week we did it live, there was lots of people asking for shout-outs to the NHS uh, and healthcare professionals, let's let's get this out of the way now and say a huge, absolute, massive thank you to the healthcare professionals, both uh, in the UK and all the healthcare professionals all over the world that are doing an absolutely amazing thing right now. Um, if you know one, anyone who's a healthcare professional or you're a healthcare professional yourself and you're in the UK, we are doing a 30% discount on our online store for uh, healthcare professionals and anyone working in the emergency services. Uh, so if you just go to our website, you'll see a big heart, a big NHS heart on our homepage and there'll be more information there on how to get your 30% discount. So anyone that's working for the NHS or anyone that is an emergency, in the emergency services, all the frontline workers, thank you so much for the work you're doing. It's a small uh, token of gratitude we'd like to give. Uh, but if you go to our website, shop.bigdropbrew.com and uh, find more information on there on how to get your, your discount. So... Big thanks to the NHS, and uh, that's our, our little uh, thank you to you. Okay, let's get on with the quiz, shall we? So, round one this week, general knowledge. Uh, just a mix of different questions. So there'll be 10 questions in total, uh, four main rounds, and we've got a social round later on as well, which I'm going to need you guys to get your singing voices ready for. 
Um, so has everyone got their pen and paper ready? Everyone nominated their uh, team leader? And we'll get started. Okay, round one. General knowledge. Off we go. In which 1995 film does Art the farmer Arthur Hoggett say, That'll do, pig. That'll do. In which 1995 film does the farmer Arthur Hoggett say, That'll do, pig. That'll do. Give you a little longer to confer amongst yourselves. Okay, question two. Queen Victoria belonged to which ruling house of the British monarchy? Hanover or Stuart? Queen Victoria belonged to which ruling house of the British monarchy? Hanover or Stuart? Okay, moving on to question three. Which British band released the album A Rush of Blood to the Head in 2002? Which British band released the album A Rush of Blood to the Head in 2002? Okay, on to question four. Which Scottish snooker player lost three consecutive World Championship finals between 2017 and 2019? Which Scottish snooker player lost three consecutive World Championship finals between 2017 and 2019? Okay, question five. Bartholomew Jojo are the given names of which Simpsons character? Bartholomew Jojo are the given names of which Simpsons character? Okay, question six. Which Western astrological sign is represented by the twins Castor and Pollux? Which Western astrological sign is represented by the twins, Castor and Pollux? Bit of film knowledge for you. Also, the names of Nicolas Cage and his brother in Face Off. Useless knowledge. I am the person to come to for that. Okay, next one. Which Lancastrian painter was best known for painting matchstick men? Which Lancastrian painter was best known for painting match, matchstick men. Okay, next one. Which G precedes slam and theft? Which G precedes slam and theft? Okay, question nine. In a game of English drafts, how many pieces are on the board at the start of play? In a game of English drafts, how many pieces are on the board at the start of play? Okay, and we'll move on to question 10. What type of pastry is used to make profiteroles? What type of pastry is used to make profiteroles? Okay, and that brings us to an end of uh, round one. How do we think we all did? Do we think uh, we walked it? Stuart Cullen uh, seems to think it was too easy. Um, Kelly, not so confident. 
we'll see how we go, Kelly. Okay, give you a, give you a little longer to uh, just confirm amongst yourselves if you're playing as teams on on uh, Zoom or anything like that. And then uh, off we go. Henry thinks he's got seven out of ten. Maggie needs some help. Okay, right. Let's see how we got on, shall we? So, round one, answers to the general knowledge round. Uh, Tariq thinks it was too easy. Joe thinks not bad. Okay, off we go. In 1995 film, uh, what? Uh, in which 1995 film does Farmer Arthur Hoggett say, that will too big, that will do? That was Babe. Okay, Babe. Question two. Queen Victoria belonged to which ruling house of the British monarchy, Hanover or Stuart? That was Hanover. Question three. Which British band released the album A Rush of Blood to the Head in 2002? Answer was Coldplay. Question four. Which Scottish snooker player lost three consecutive World Championship finals between 2017 and 2019? Thanks, Hootswa. Uh, the answer is John Higgins. Question five. Uh, Bartholomew Jojo are, which given, are the given names of which Simpsons character? Bart Simpson. The answer was in the question. Okay, number six. Which Western astrological sign is represented by the twins Castor and Pollux? Answer there is Gemini. Number seven. Which Lancastrian painter was best known for painting matchstick men? The answer was L.S. Lowry. I will allow just Lowry. Which G precedes slam and theft? Which G precedes slam and theft? The answer is grand. Number nine. In a game of English drafts, how many pieces are on the board at the start of play? The answer is 24. Don't give the answers away, Steph. And number 10. What type of pastry is used to make profiteroles? Shoo! And that is the end of... You're right, Steph. I'll forgive you. That's the end of uh, round one. So, post your scores. Let me know how you got on. Smashed it. Good work. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Well done, Paul. 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, nice, well done Maggie. 10 out of 10 for Bad Crumble and the Weasels, excellent. Oh, changed from Coldplay to Pink Floyd. I, I don't know how Pink Floyd will feel about that. Lots of 9 out of 10s, good. Kelly got 4, never mind Kelly, we'll see how you get on later. Some good scores there guys, excellent, good work, good work. Okay, let's move on to the next round, shall we? So, next round is Missing Lyric. So I've tried to put a few different kind of styles of music in there, some classics in there as well. Uh, in terms of classic songs, we're, we're going to head that way later for the social round as well. So I'm going to need you guys to get your, uh, your singing voices warmed up. Excellent. Okay. Let me get my timer ready. Okay. Off we go. Okay, question one. I'm going to try not to give away the song or the word here, but excuse me if I slip up. What would you do if I sang out a tune? Would you something up and walk out on me? And the song is With a Little Help From My Friends. I'll just let you read that on screen because... I don't want to keep saying this and then give it away. Okay, next one. 
Some, peop me, some people call me the space something. Some people call me the gangster of love. And the song is the Joker. Just read it on screen. See what you think. Okay, move on to the next one. It's been a hard day's night and I've been something like a dog. Please don't be rude. Keep reading it on the screen. See if you can recognize the song name first, then maybe work back to the track name. Okay, next one. Her name was Lola. She was a, with yellow feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to there. Okay, let's move on. It's close to midnight and something evil's lurking in the something. It's close to midnight and something evil's lurking in the something. The song is Thriller. And I almost did the answer. You haven't heard my singing voice, Rosie. Okay, next one. Don't call it A something. I've been here for years. Don't call it A something. I've been here for years. You can sing them, Kelly. That's absolutely fine. You just don't want to hear me sing. Okay, next one. Mama, just something, a man. Again, no smutty comments. Okay, see the track name on the screen as well. Uh, spaces do not equate to the number of letters in the word Gareth. No, it's just a blank. So uh, none of those spaces will equate to the solution. It could be more or less. Number eight, take off my shoes and throw them in the, take off my shoes and throw them in the, that's from Hounds of Love. Okay, number nine, on the something is where I spent most of my days, on the something is where I spent most of my days. Okay. One more question to go before the end of the round. And we'll find out how you think you've done. Uh, number 10. All right, stop, collaborate and something. All right, stop, collaborate, and something. That one was probably the hardest one for me not to burst into bad song. Not even a song, really. Bad rap. Okay, there we go. Round two. Done. So, how do we think we got on? Was that too easy? About right? In my head, Upsy Daisy, I've been singing it all day since I wrote that question. Okay. Next week, I'm going to add that band name to the swear list. <laughs> Too hard. Start well, I went south. 
confident nine out of 10 from Faye Bartlett. Okay, right. So uh, some of you might have been missing one. Uh, I'm not gonna go back just to keep things moving, but I'll leave a little bit of a break before I give the answer away when we run through them, just to see how we got on. Uh, so off we go. Let's go to the answers, shall we? Okay, round two. Here we go. Uh, what would you do if you sang out of tune? Would you something up and walk out on me? Answer was stand. Question two. Some people call me the space something. Some people call me the gangster of love. Some people call me the space cowboy. Cowboy. Actually said it. Glad I didn't do that in the questions. Okay, next one. Uh, Margaret, if you stick around, we might better do one this week. It's been a hard day's night and I've been something like a dog. Working. Jason Roof. I'm hoping it's because of my exquisite comic timing. Uh, number four. Her name was Lola. She was a something. I'm not going to read it all out. Uh, her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Number five. It's close to mi It's close to midnight, and something evil's lurking in the. It's close to midnight, and something evil's lurking in the dark. Uh, number six, don't call it A. I've been here for years. Uh, LL Cool J is a uh, comeback. Henry, I can't allow work, I'm afraid. Number seven, Mama, just something, a man. Killed. Number eight, Take off my shoes and throw them in the something. Uh, the answer was lake. Number nine. On the something is where I spent most of my days. Playground. And number ten. All right, stop, collaborate, and listen. So that's round two done. Post your scores. Let me know how you got us on. Uh, no, River doesn't count, I'm afraid, Lottie. Well done, eight out of 10. A meaty 10 out of 10. Good work. Nine out of 10. Excellent, keep posting those scores. Let me see how you're getting on. Nine out of 10, well done, Chloe. Ian got an 8, Wendy a 6, Team Lockett an eight, 8 out of 10, good work. Mary, oh, I hope you're a Harry Potter fan. Eddie Nelson, 10 out of 10, good work. Uh, get some built up scores there, 18 out of 20 from Ed, that's nice. Good work, everyone. Some good scores there. Oh, my wife got 10. Amazing. And she didn't even know the answers. Oh, I didn't even show her the answers, I promise. Okay, Cheddar Creative got 10 out of 10. Uh, they did a fantastic social round last week by dressing one of their guys up in far too many uh, tops. Uh, you can find it if you go on Instagram and search for hashtag living room pub quiz, which... Uh, leads me on to this week's uh, social round. So, uh, last week we had a round where I wanted you to put as many jumpers on as you could or as many tops as you could on and kind of really you know, pile it up and then take a photograph for yourself kind of um, under the weight of a considerable amount of jumpers. Uh, then the previous week to that, I uh, asked you to draw a can of Big Drop, which he did as well. Uh, and uh, there were some fantastic entries there as well and every week what we do with the social round is this is where we give away prizes so you can take part in this one uh 
the, the team, the Big Drop team will judge your entries. And then if we like what you're doing, then uh, we will post your, uh, we will post your, um, we'll, we'll choose the winner and we will give away some Big Drop goodies, including some beers and some t-shirts and that sort of thing. So what is this week's social round? It's a social sing-along. Uh, and no, I'm not going to do it to to give you an example. Uh, so what I'd like you to do this week is I would like you to sing uh, Delilah by Tom Jones, the chorus in particular. And I'd like you to post it on social media. Uh, you can post it on Instagram, you can post it on Twitter, you can post it on Facebook. Any of those is fine. All you need to do is tag it with the hashtag Living Room Pub Quiz and then just mention us in it so we can pick it up and see it. And I'd like you to be as imaginative as possible uh, when you post it to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Be really imaginative. You've got till this Friday to post it, so you've got a bit of time to post it. Uh, try and you know either you know get everyone on your Zoom call to, to join in and do it, or if you've got a few people at home, join in and do it. Or if it's just you and the, and the dog, do that as well. See if you can get the dog joining in in some way, shape, or form. Maybe a fantastic Tom Jones style perm wig on the dog. Uh, something like that um let's see how you get on and we'll give away some big drop goodies to the best ones that take part so that's the hashtag to living room pub quiz uh we're at big drop brew co on social and uh we'll pick some winners this uh this weekend to see uh how we get on and then i, I might take upsy daisy on uh next week for the best dressed toilet I, i'm not going to ask um okay Round four, let's do Harry Potter. Uh, this is one of the most requested ones over the last few weeks. Uh, boyfriend refuses to sing Delilah because apparently it's a Stoke City song. Well, football's off at the moment, so it doesn't count. Um, so let's do a Harry Potter round. This was one of the most requested rounds over the last few weeks. Even week one when we did it and we had a few technical people, uh, technical issues, people were still saying do a Harry Potter round. And then we did a... Uh, uh, another quiz last week and then we did a questionnaire of who, what rounds we want and this came second in that round as well so we're going to do a harry potter round sorry for the ones who don't like harry potter you're probably going to take a bit of a hit <laughs> the ones who do like harry potter you're you're gonna you know this is your chance um if you do want to vote for a round next week we're going to post some more rounds just like us on facebook we'll put the put the poll out there and if you want one you just flag it up as the one you want and if enough people vote for that, we'll do that. So there's there's a good mix of people liking uh, liking it, uh, and and a good mix of people not such a fan of Harry Potter. Okay, so question one. Let me just get my timer ready. Who was usually referred to as Wormtail? Who was usually referred referred to as Wormtail? Okay. Uh, Eva's come back for this because she is a little bit of a Harry Potter fan. So she's going to do one of the questions. Uh, okay, so. Eva, do you want to do this one? Who founded Dumbledore's arm army? One more time. Who founded Dumbledore's army? Thank you very much, Eva. Question three. Which newspaper does Rita Skeeter work for? That's awesome to hear, Timothy. I'm really glad we've got some younger people joining in. We're always going to try and do rounds, kind of get younger people involved as well, because obviously they're on school holiday or they're stuck at home as well now at the moment. So let's let's get some, you know, try and do some younger questions. Did Disney round last week. We'll try and do something more, you know, orientated for younger people as well every week okay question four which hogwarts ha he which hogwarts house did moaning myrtle belong to which hogwarts house did moaning myrtle belong to do you know this one oh okay jason roof is taking a hit you you can smash the next round jason you're fine Question five, where does Vernon Dursley work? Where does Vernon Dursley work? Uh, we need to 
quick shout out to uh, Rian from the Big Drop team who wrote these questions this week. Uh, so while you're trying to write your answers, Dan, if you can all give a big thanks to Rian. Number six, what spell unlocks doors? What spell unlocks doors? Number seven. What is Harry Potter's ma wand made out of? It's what wood is Harry Potter's name uh, wand made out of? Mr. Wood out of that question. But I need to know what wood Harry's wand is made out of. Good try, Jason. Not quite right. Number eight. Dumbledore has a scar above his knee. And it's the perfect map of what? For everyone that's requested a Harry Potter round in these quizzes, I'd just like to say I want to see a consistent 10 out of 10 across the board here. Okay, number nine. The ones that love us never really leave us is a quote by which character? The ones that love us Never Really Leave Us is a quote by which character? And he was going to come back for question 10. Here she comes. What class did Neville and end up... What, uh, what class did Neville end up teaching at Hogwarts? <laughs> What cl what class did Neville end up teaching at Hogwarts? Thank you very much, Eva. Okay, how do we get on? Jason wants a football round. Well, we might put that up as one of the options next week, Jason. We'll do a specific sports round. And uh, then we can get you to vote on it, like us on Facebook, and then uh, you can get a chance to, to vote for that round. Uh, lots of zeros. See? Oh, dear. Well, Harry Potter fans, this now is your time to shine, I think, because, uh, oh, the lockdown lovers are having a Harry Potter wedding. Emma, I'd like to see a... Uh, Good score from this then, please, because I hope you've got that nailed down. Henry Knowles thinks a five, six or seven. Steph wants a musicals round. Okay, so like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can find us pretty easily. And uh, then we can get you to vote for some, some of these rounds next week. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through, shall we? So, question one. Who is usually referred to as Wormtail? Who is usually referred to as Wormtail? I will accept just their first name uh, or their full name uh, as this answer. The answer is, uh, sorry, just their surname or their full name uh, is Peter Pettigrew. Peter Pettigrew. Okay, I think Eva asked this one, so she's gonna give the answer to it in a sec. Who founded Dumbledore's ar uh, army? I almost said auntie, that's not right. Uh, who founded Dumbledore's army? Hermione Granger. What oh, sassy face there, Eva, thank you. Excellent, okay, number three. Which newspaper does Rita Skeeter work for? Which newspaper does Rita Skeeter work for? The answer is The Daily Prophet. Number four. Which Hogwarts house did Moaning Myrtle belong to? So you could probably take a take a, a bit of a punt at one of these uh, and you've got a one in four, five chance of, uh, of getting this right. 
The run blog got three out of three. Excellent. Okay, the answer is Ravenclaw. Okay, excellent. Uh, where does Vernon Dursley work? Where does Vernon Dursley work? The answer is Grunnings. Number six, what spell unlocks doors? The answer is Alohomora. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I am probably not. Okay. I, I, Harry, my resident Harry Potter expert says I am saying that correctly. I will take that. Number seven. What is Harry Potter's wand made out of? I need the I need the specific wood uh, for you to get a point here. Um, what is Harry Potter's wand made out of? Uh, you can have a drill company, Harvey, because you knew what it was. Uh, the answer to number seven was Holly. No, it's sadly not open sesame, Darren. Worth a shot, though. Number eight. Dumbledore has a scar above his knee, and it's the perfect map of what? Dumbledore has a scar above his knee, and it's the perfect map of what? The London Underground. Uh, Rosie, you can have that. Uh, number nine. Uh, the ones that love us never really leave us. Leave us is a quote by which character? The ones that love us never never really leave us is a quote by which character? The answer is Sirius Black. And number ten. Answer, Eva's going to give the answer for this one. Uh, what class did Neville end up teaching at Hogwarts? What class did Neville end up teaching at Hogwarts? The answer is... Herbology. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Eva. Bye. Okay, there we go. How do we all get on? Uh, Chloe, we'll, we'll put some options up next week and... Uh, we will um, let you vote on what we go for. We, we could do a science round. Can't take votes here though, Jason. Wow. Good work, guys. There's a good mix in the scores here. Some people are, are Harry Potter fans. Some people are very much not Harry Potter fans. That's fine. We'll uh, We'll mix it up next week. We'll do something different. That's pretty good, Mary. That's fine. Unless you're a massive Harry Potter fan. Then... Less so. Uh, oh, it's a good, good mix of scores there. Uh, excellent. Okay. Apparently, Ruby Peacock is a, a massive Harry Potter geek. Uh, Cheddar Creative, 7 out of 10. Good work. Uh, it's a good mix there. Total round stuff, 26 to 30 for Simply Cat. Uh, it depends what the question was, Lottie. Um, okay, good work, guys. That was a good mix. So just quickly run you over before we do the uh, the next round, the final round this week. Uh, the social round, I want you to sing Delilah by Tom Jones, the, the chorus specifically, either of the choruses, whether there's three, whichever one you want. Record yourself singing it, you know, in the, in, as your household group or with everyone on Zoom joining you. Or get a load of videos and mash them all together. Get creative with it. If you enjoy kind of a bit of video editing, a bit of creative, do something like that. Uh, post a video on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Uh, tag it with Living Room, Living Room Pub Quiz. And then uh, mention us at Big Drop Brewing Co. Uh, Big Drop Brew Co., sorry. And then uh, we'll pick them up. Uh, closes on Friday. They will choose some winners over the weekend. The winners we will notify by message and we'll give away some big drop goodies, including some beers and some uh, merch and that sort of thing as well. Okay. So, round five. Is everyone enjoying it this week? Is it all working okay for you? It's good to see 
so many back. A few return, you know, rec a few names, usernames I recognise. A few new ones as well. That's great. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let's push on with the final round, which is album covers. Um, so this is a picture round because uh, because I'm learning as we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've never done YouTube before in particular, uh, but hey, every week is a learning week um, down in my little cabin. So we're going to do picture round this week. Uh, thanks, Hootswa. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's do the picture round. So I just want you to tell me the artist name for the artist that made each of these albums. Uh, if the artist name appears on the album cover, I have removed it. But I would like you to uh, let me know who the artist was that recorded the album. Uh, I'll give you 20 seconds for each one to just confirm amongst yourselves. Uh, now it's round five, Tim, because we had the social round, uh, which was round three. Okay, let us go. Let me just get my timer up. Okay, we all ready? Here we go. So 20 seconds, or around 20 seconds for each on screen. Uh, there's, there's some that people look at and go, that's really easy. And some that people look at and go, who is that? Um, but others, it could be the other way around. It could completely switch. So try to keep it as varied as possible. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm giving no clues. I'm just showing you the picture of the album cover. YMCA, Village People. You can go with that if you want. Uh, okay, next one. A few mixes of eras here as well. Um, so, a, a musical styles. So, I've, I've tried to pick a, a good amount for different styles, different tastes, and different eras, and that sort of thing. Not just pick all the stuck stuff I like. That would be easy. Okay, next one. How are we getting on? Ooh. Just the artist, please, Sarah. That's all. Don't need the album name. Keeping it as kind of straightforward to answer as possible. So if you're playing in teams through different video platforms, then it's a bit easier to do. Okay, next one. Here we go. Okay, next one. So I've uh, left the album names where possible on some of these, which will hopefully give you a little bit of a clue. But some it might give it away completely for and some it might not it might keep them completely stumped number seven i'm going to take the word the primary word from that sentence as trying joe i feel your pain okay Next one. Classic album. Never actually noticed the two pom poms before. There we go. Learn something new every day. <coughs> Thanks, Mick. Number nine.
So this is a slightly more recent album than the others. And the last one, which is uh, the last question of the week, is number 10. There we go. <clears throat> People of a similar age to me, which I won't say, uh, and if you've Googled or seen how old the kid is from this photograph now, I, I hope you feel as old as I did. Uh, which was very old. And there we go. That is the questions for uh, round five. Music covers rounds. Did the picture round work? Did you enjoy it? Uh, should we do more picture rounds? Does it... Uh, does it mix things up a little bit? Or do you prefer the written questions and, and that sort of format? Give us your feedback in the comments after the video underneath or drop us a message on Facebook. Uh, and make sure we're doing this every week, every Tuesday, 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, let's try and get as many people along as possible because it's a good kind of, you know, it. it Zoom chats and that sort of thing are fine, but let's get a bit of community in the in the in the actual word chats as well, and and realise that we're kind of in this thing together. Good, thanks everyone. Glad you like the pictures. We'll do some we'll do some more pictures next week as well. And what we'll probably do is ask for a th you know we'll do some themes, get you to vote on them. We'll pick one of those as a picture round, and uh, we'll we'll probably never do Harry Potter again, but Star Trek next week, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's go through the um, celebrity baby picture round. Yes, I do like that. I think we'll we'll put that in the uh, in the questions next week. Um, someone just asked if they can invest in Big Drop. Uh, you can. Um, we're we're running a crowdfunding round at the moment. If you um, go to our website and find the recent news, you'll find a link to a platform called Cedars, which we're raising money through. Uh, we're about to close in a few days' time, but if you'd like to go and have a look and you'd like to join us on our on the Big Drop journey, by all means do. Uh, but enough about money. Let's go for the questions. Okay, round five, album covers. Off we go. This one was the Beatles. Number two. This was Blink 182. Blink 182. Loving some of your comments. Next one. This is uh, Beastie Boys. Your knowledge of adult stars is too good, Hootswa. Let's leave that there. Okay. Number four. Joy Division. Number four was Joy Division. Number five. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Number six, which I think was the first album to have the parental advisory thingy on it, uh, was NWA. Number seven, uh, 
Oasis. Number eight, the man with the pom-poms I've only just noticed. Fleetwood Mac. Number nine. was Beyonce and number 10 was Nirvana there we go how do we all get on good mix of things on there some people were unsure how they were going to get on with that uh, some people think they've walked it let's see how we get on Okay, some good high scores in there. Good. Post your final scores on here as well. Let's see how you got on. Let's see how much uh, Harry Potter threw a uh, tiny wizard in the works. Some good scores. Good work, Pat. Ed, good one. 372, nice. Good. Uh, crikey. Everyone's posting the scores. Okay, I'm going to have to scroll back up later on and look at these. These are going too fast for me. Okay. Good source, guys. Thank you so much for playing. Just a reminder of the social round this week. Uh, I would like you to sing the chorus to Tom Jones's uh, Delilah, uh, whichever chorus you want. I think they're slightly different for each one. Uh, I'd like you to film it, post it on social media, tag us uh, at Big Drop Bruco, and then with the hashtag of Living Room Pub Quiz, and we will choose some winners and. Uh, send them some goodies uh, the ones that make us smile the most that keep us entertained and hopefully they'll keep everyone else entertained at season as well and uh, if you'd like to buy some Big Drop beers for taking part in the quiz this week you can go to our uh, website shop.bigdropbrew.com and uh, at checkout if you enter the code LRPQ then you'll get 10% off your order uh, we're only shipping to the UK at the moment we're hoping to change that soon, um, but for now, uh, if you're in the UK, you'd like to buy some of our beers, go to our shop, shop.bigdropbrew.com, and you can get 10% uh, off with the code LRPQ in the checkout, and we'll uh, we'll get your beers sent to you as quickly as possible. Uh, thanks so much for playing, guys. We'll see you again next week. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. We'll be posting polls on there next week to vote for your, your the round you'd like to do. We'll do a we'll do a um, we'll do another picture round. We'll, we'll vary it up a little bit. And if you've got any suggestions for the the social round and how we can get people involved and and get kind of people sharing things, then please post that as well. And uh, until next week, this has been week three of the Living Room Pub Quiz. Uh, I've been James. I'm one of the founders of Big Drop. Um, I'm down here in my cabin. Uh, and uh, I'm about to go in, have a beer, and uh, be really happy that the internet worked this week. Uh, and I will see you all next week. Cheers, guys. <laughs>